Well, you know, we saw a few days ago in the Alps, uh, Cadell unable to stay with Contador. Uh, in hindsight, it was his, his trying to stick with Rasmus and, and Contador a mistake. It looked like he blew up and, and fell probably further back than if he had raced his own pace the way Levi did. Uh, is that hindsight 2020, or what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, the downside, the, the other difference would have been if he would have let him go the very first time they attacked, those two would have worked in collaboration right from the get-go. So maybe he lost the minute and the minute and a half, two minutes, whatever it was at that point, but maybe we would have lost three or four. We don't really know because one thing is 100% certain, the only main objective of those two riders was to get rid of Cadell. And as soon as they got rid of Cadell, you saw them, they worked together like they were on the same team. And so if Cadell would have let them go right from the bottom of the climb, those two would have been working together right from the get-go. And no one, was gonna, no one back there was going to work with Cadell, not Sastra, not, not Levi. Levi's going to sit on because he's got Contador up the road. Sastra's going to sit on because he can't out-time trial uh, uh, Cadell either. So he's going to take advantage of that too. So Cadell was basically, he was the whipping boy yesterday. Nobody, everybody wanted to beat him up because he's, he was the only one up there that was the time trial is still left aside from Cloden and Cloden had already been dropped. So the only option he could have did is if he stayed with Cloden and Cloden would have worked with him and those two could have worked together. Maybe, maybe not, but evidently Cloden wasn't going that good. And you see in the spur of the moment, Cadell is wants to win the Tour de France, plain and simple. And if you want to win the Tour de France, you're going to have to stay with Rasmussen. Cadell, is there something more perhaps uh, for the final climbing day? Oh, I hope so. You know, we'll see how the last how the last few days go. But as you saw yesterday, Contador and, uh, and uh, Rasmussen are pretty good in the climbs. And, um, you know, unfortunately, I was on my own today. He was a few you know, team riders who can pull back brakes like that cost a lot of money. and. Uh, not every team can afford them. One other important question. You could still become the first Australian to make the podium on the GC of Tour de France. How big a goal is that for you? No, no more say, I just want to ride my best tour. Just my best tour that I can do. And if that's for first or third or whatever that may be, I'll be happy with that. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see in a week. Contador initiated the move that inevitably, inevitably put time into Levi. Uh, that was a risk you were willing to take. Yeah, you know, I mean, at this point, uh, Contador is in second, uh, Levi's in fourth, and Evans looks uh, pretty sto pretty solid. So um, Contador really he wanted to try to see if uh, if if Rasmussen was uh, showing some weaknesses, and uh, unfortunately for us, he doesn't. But uh, I think that uh, you know we're we're riding as a team, and uh, our goal is is the podium. I think we have we have two good chances with Contador and, and Levi, and for the moment, uh, Contador could take time out of Evans and Cluden, uh, and Levi stayed with, uh, with Evans and Cluden, so um, I think it was a good day. He said that uh, Rasmussen is not showing weaknesses, but what about the Rabobank team, from what you saw today, heading into the they, summit finish? On they're, uh, they're very strong. They, they did an amazing job today. They controlled this mountain stage uh, perfectly. They have been perfectly in control, and uh, I have to say that, uh, you know, we, I would have hope that uh, Rasmussen was a little earlier without uh, without the teammates that uh, um, but he had he had Bugert at the end and uh, Menchov was uh, coming back from the breakaway so he, he really set a good pace and was uh, was an amazing team performance from from Rabobank today my big ambition now is have a nice rest tomorrow and be ready for for the last mountain stage you know at the moment just uh, I couldn't attack because I didn't feel it and I don't know what's going to happen, you know. It's, uh, today we saw that the, nobody of the, the guys who are looking for the GC explode and that means that everybody is more or less in the same level. No? You say that the Contador and Rasmussen are strong, are they too strong? If they attack just in two kilometers and take one minute, it's because they are strong, no? You will still need a couple of minutes to reach uh, the podium as, it's, as it is, as it is uh, now. There's only one uh, stage left in the Pyrenees on the Col du Abisque. What, will, what do you plan for, for this stage? At the moment I plan just rest, have a nice re rest tomorrow and be ready for after tomorrow, you know. At the moment just I have to wait, I cannot do too much. I would like to attack, uh, but if I attack it's because I feel that I can do it. No, I cannot uh, just attack for, for nothing.
At the moment, uh, you know, it's Erasmus and I'm going to are going uh, really fast. And after we are, like I told you, a small group of six riders that uh, we have more or less the same level and the podium has to be there, no? But uh, anyway, I'm doing my best. I'm happy with that reason and I cannot do, I cannot, I cannot ask for more, no?